Hey everyone, my name is Nick Sulo. I'm an artist with a background in visual effects, working for the film and TV industry for the past decade. I'm also the co-creator of Exulo, that's known for creating the techno dystopia surreal artworks. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to create realistic fog in 3D. We're going to use V-Ray's environment fog in Maya, so let's jump right in and check it out. In Maya, I went ahead and put together this scene using actually Quixel Bridge, which comes with uh, different scan 3D objects. So for this one, I went with this Icelandic rock and sand texture, something that feels kind of coastal and near the ocean so we can create some nice um, environment fog in the scene. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how to set up the V-Ray environment fog. The first thing you want to do when setting up the environment uh, volume fog in V-Ray is go into the render settings uh, for V-Ray itself and under overrides you uh, click under the volume metrics and then check box the use environment volume. Go ahead and select your node for um, under V-Ray volume metrics and there it is the V-Ray environment fog and go ahead and plug that in. Right away, you'll notice that the, the screen went completely black, and that usually has to do with uh, fog distance. So the fog distance right now is set to 10. It's uh, the density of it is just too thick in front of the ca camera. So taking that fog and actually spreading it off into the distance will allow the fog itself to kind of dissipate and stretch out into the further distance in Z-Dub. That way it kind of already kind of adds that um, Z depth almost feel to it. So our already just adjusting the fog distance will really definitely allow to um, even thicken it up even a bit. It really depends on what kind of effect you want to do you want, you know, the fog to be a thicker fog, or do you want it to be more subtle, but we can kind of maybe set it at 700 it's probably a good, good number to start off with. What's also really fun is you know, just the height of the fog. So say, yeah, like already it kind of feels to me like a, a bog where it's like the, the, the fog itself kind of sits low into the ground. And uh, that can actually be a pretty, pretty cool effect. That way maybe you don't want the, these rocks to disappear and lose any, any of that nice texture and detail and bring down the fog height more. So maybe something around 50. So this is all in also, this is uh, in real world scale. So if um, say the scene was uh, smaller in size, the transparency, the fog height, all these settings will kind of act differently. So the numbers, um, these numbers might be different in your scene based on if it's in uh, real world scale or not, so. So another thing we can actually check out is the color temperature and the over color of the fog. So when we um, click on here and we can define the color of the fog itself. So if you want the fog to be cooler, we can play around with that, but Another great way is to actually go into the camera settings under the V-Ray. So in your camera, you scroll down extra V-Ray attributes. You can scroll down to the white balance. Sometimes um, fog uh, environment scenes, they're, they're, it can be either kind of a cool color temperature or even like a warm color if we see kind of the sun light bleeding through here. But already it kind of has this kind of greenish, bluish color temperature so we can play around maybe pump it up even more and um, have a yellow white balance set to that kind of really see what it's already doing I mean we could really crank it up almost feels otherworldly like an alien planet different atmosphere but I want something a little more natural so if we just adjust it just just a little bit This way it almost feels like kind of maybe a, even a moonlit, foggy scene we can kind of play around with. But we can even go back into the V-Ray environment fog, 
play around with the color even for the the fog itself so if you want the it's kind of a uh grayish almost yellow tone to it so we can even stylistically pump that up and you can go really crank it i mean it's not really the results we want i mean it looks kind of cool it could be something a little different and um it's a bit magical but we can tone it down maybe bring in some darker blues and violets Yeah, now we got a cool foggy night uh, on the coast going on here, and maybe you want to go into back into the V-Ray environment fog, because it feels like the fog right here is just kind of sitting too low. So maybe we can bring up the fog height from 40 and bring it up to say like 80. That way it will spread out, and you can already kind of see that it kind of spreads the fog out nicely more up the y-axis. So that's pretty good. And um, maybe next we want to drop in like a, a character walking along the coast, say over in this area with like a flashlight and see kind of the, the light shining through the fog itself. And it'll, it'll really kind of add a lot more atmosphere to it and really highlight the environment fog itself. Go back to viewport, go up to create and then lights, via rect, rectangle light. Go ahead and move that more into the scene. So we want a character probably to stand in the rocks about in this area. So yeah, the flashlight will probably sit about right in that area, I would assume. Go ahead and adjust the directional and they'll kind of make a, a more cone shape. So It'll feel more like a flashlight source. Even bring down the the size of it, and let's go ahead and up to render and V the V-Ray IPR and check it out. So the light already, the intensity multiplier is just too low, thirty being thirty. So we can pump that up, say even like to like a thousand. And right away, you can already see. And it has that cone shape um, flashlight look that we want our character to have. And pump it up maybe to 1500. The scale of this, we can bring it down and then even check it out. See what if we go under options and make it invisible so we don't see the rectangle so much. But yeah, we'll maybe we'll go ahead and just drop in a character right here with a flashlight. So it's kind of walk along this coast. I went ahead and dropped in a character using Daz 3D. So now we have this person walking through the scene with a flashlight. I even introduced a uh, another light source off on screen right. Say it's another character or even a vehicle. So that way we can kind of get these nice highlights around the character itself. So. We can go ahead and disable that. You can kind of see what happens before with the character where you totally lose it. So it's nice to be able to kind of bring in these extra lights in there. That way it kind of helps with the focus. And we can go back in the environment fog. Maybe even crank up the fog height to 100. And stretch it out just a little bit more. And if we play with the fog density, you know, if we bring it all the way down, we can think of it as like oh, uh, opacity. It will just completely turn it off. And we just want to bring that back. Another way of turning off environment fog is just simply enabling and disabling it. Yeah, maybe we can adjust the fog more, but I feel like the artwork is in a good spot to get the results that we're trying to aim for. So overall, V-Ray's environment fog is a pretty artist-friendly tool to add in a lot of realism into your artwork like right away. So you can just uh, drop it into your scene and adjust the fog distance and it can already really get the results you're looking for without spending too much time on that. So that's great. So yeah, this pretty much covers the basics on how to create fog using V-Ray's environment fog. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. There's definitely gonna be more to come uh, here at NVIDIA Studio. So definitely keep an eye out on that and we'll see you then.